I can tell you the only deal I have with them is that they are passionate for a better Nigeria. That's the only deal. Everybody wants Nigeria to survive now. Everybody, you know, because at the end of the day, if it collapses, anarchy consumes everybody. You wouldn't see have a party. If they throw a bomb down here, you wouldn't know who is governor, who is the get man. So it is better we save Nigeria because if it happens, nobody knows who will be affected. So we want Nigeria to be saved. We want a better Nigeria. Everyone wants to be quit his children, anarchy. Look at him caring about those people in IDP camp. They're not his children. They're not anything. He could have, he can just walk away and say, they're not his business. But he's caring about them. And that is what we want. We want a Nigeria that will show the same patriotism by caring about people and everything. Look at the flooding that has happened all over Nigeria. As far as I'm concerned, the government of Nigeria have not responded adequately. They have not shown compassion. A leadership comes with compassion, comes with listening, comes with understanding. Even those people in IDP, how many people from federal government have come to visit them? That is what you do. That's what shows that you are committed to Nigeria. Then, for example, I keep saying this is a huge state. This is a 34,000 square kilometers of land of a state with four million people. What you can do with Benue will shock you if I have the opportunity. It will shock you. These are states that we could have. After four years, the people will say, thank God they met this man. Because there's a lot to do with this place. I mean, Benue State today to do a costly call to Two former traditional rulers in Benue State, the Thor TV and Ochidama. And of course, I can't come to Benue without coming to pay my loyalty to the governor. Everybody knows that if there's one state I feel the governor has done what I will respect, caring for his people when they are, the federal government abandoned them, it is Benue. So I came to pay my respect to him, and that's basically why I'm here. And I thank you and urge you to continue to do, because whenever I see pictures of those in IDP, I feel very sad that Nigerians can live in refugee in Nigeria when, there's no, when we're not at war. These are some of the things I want to solve. These are one of the things we want to take care of. We want to make sure that Nigerians are secure and they live peaceful and we are united. We must love each other. We must care for each other. And that's what I'm striving hard to achieve. It is not about party. It is about a nation called Nigeria who must build a better place. Thank you. Benue remains your state, and we're happy you have visited our two paramount rulers, the Totiv and the Ochi Doma. It's not easy. I think this is the first time a presidential candidate is visiting our two paramount rulers and taking time to pay homage to me as the governor of Benue State. We appreciate and commend you for this gesture. <laughs> and to say that uh, we remain grateful. Our prayers are with you. As I always say, it is God that crowns. John 3, 27, I say again, a man can receive nothing except is given to him from above. But if it were given to human beings to judge, I think if Nigeria needs to make a choice, 
you are one of the finest candidates that we have in this country. In terms of education, in terms of character, in terms of performance, in terms of reaching out, in terms of accommodation, in terms of being a Pan-Nigerian, in terms of uh, industrialization and passion to ensure that our country is liberated from where we are, out of insecurity to security, and out of economic woes to economic vibrancy, and out of lack of adequate um, social life, you have the capacity to make things work. Let me say this again. Where we are in our country, Nigeria, today, we should not be looking at party. We should not be looking at where someone comes from. But we should be looking at the capacity of a personality that will be able to deliver us from the mess we are in in Nigeria today. And Peter will be from your antecedents. You have the capacity. If I were God, I would have said everything, but I'm not God. So it's difficult for me to say it. But I admire your courage, your capacity, and your commitment to the well-being of our people. All that I can say, the God that sees the heart, let him bless you. And the God that sees the heart, and the God that crowns, if it is his will, let him crown you. Because it is not a matter of party or structures or anything or where you come from. If God decides that it is you, nobody can stop you. I am a living example. 2015, how I became governor. 2019, how I became governor is visible in this country and in our state. And so if God wants you, you'll be there. Continue with your peaceful campaign. But I want to reach out. I want you to reach out to your colleagues who are also aspiring and solicit their support to be their servant if you are elected. You work with them. We need everybody to work together and ensure that we get ourselves out. Then we can sit down and restructure our country to ensure that we match with other developing countries as they are. So it is not about Peter Obi, it is not about Atiku, it is not about Tinibu, it's not about uh, Kwankwaso, it's not about the other people, but it's about Nigeria. For me, I'm thinking Nigeria. What can we do? So there is nothing wrong in all of you, the front runners of this campaign for 2023 for the presidency, to come together and sit and say, look, this man should step down, this one should step down, let one person go, because it is only one seat that is there. So I pray that that kind of day will come, so that we begin to uh, work together. I said it before. If I were not in PDP, Peter would, be, would have been my candidate, and I would have been there with him. But I'm in PDP. That is my handicap. <laughs> but my prayers are with you. God bless you.